Hello, hello, Newman of Three Two here, and welcome back to Let's Play Digimon Survive. We are on episode forty-two. We're back in the real world. Um, yeah, uh, Miyuki, Takuma, and Agumon—all three seem to have made it back to the real world, and we're at the school right now. Agumon is hiding because tiny dinosaur that talks. While me and Miyuki search for a teacher at the school. Apparently, even though days have passed in the digital world, is what I'm calling it. Um, the real world, only a couple hours have passed, which also means the more time we spend in the real world, the more time will pass on the other side. We should try talking to the other campers. Jesus, they all look so tired. Tall boy. Did you hear it? The people who went camping have gone missing. For real, what happened? I haven't heard any details. Teacher's been running all over looking for them. We're supposed to just wait here for now. Holy crap, this is worse than I expected. Takuma, they're talking about you and your friends, aren't they? I think they are. The teachers and students here still have no idea what happened. Alright, well. Let's go check out the cafeteria now. Let's try talking to the other campers. The teachers, they all went off somewhere. Maybe they're looking for the campers that never came back. There were a lot of them. A lot of them? Either they got caught in the landslide or they stuck around to check it out. Lots of people still haven't showed up at school. Some people left school to go check out the landslide, apparently. Teachers must really be freaking out over this. Huh. What's wrong? I just got surprised when that TV turned on by itself. Oh yeah, someone must have used the remote. Looks like it's set to the news. You mean now you can turn the TV on from a far away? And hey, the image is in color. The picture's even nicer than on that big one I saw in the electronics shop that one time. Remote controls and color TVs are things most of us take for granted these days. Sounds like a lot really has changed between now and when Miyuki lived here. Though I'm having the opposite experience. It says it's today's news, but the date's the same as when we left for the shrine. So it's true. Hardly any time has passed since we crossed over into the other world. Yes, but not for me. Apparently it's been ages since I was taken. First, I didn't think it was possible, but I'm sure Miyuki's not lying. Some of the things the professor told me, that photograph we found in the other world and that incident, the old woman said happened 50 years ago. I feel like they're all connected. Could Haru and Miyuki have been swallowed up by that, by that other world 50 years ago? Takuma, look what... The location they're showing for this news story is it's not far from the shrine. Several students go missing from camp after a major landslide, so it did make the news. Oh, this is bad. That means someone could recognize me as one of the missing kids. If they found out I came back, but nobody else did. They'll ask me about the others for sure. But how can I explain what happened? Takuma, what now? This story. Something else on the news? That cable car looks familiar. The story is accident and defunct cable car ropeway. I recognize that cable car. Do you think it's the same one? Has to be. Sounds like Miyuki's thinking the same thing I am. Wait, what's the next story? Abandoned factory collapses and landslide blocking nearby roads. It's the same place. You recognize it too, Takuma. Recognize it? We were just there. That's where we fought Piedmon. I knew it. That must be what's going on. Did you figure something out? A landslide at a shrine, a cable car accident, and a factory collapsing. Could it all mean... What did Miyuki realize just now? Isn't it all just coincidences, or could she have known everything from the start? Can you spell it out? Okay, I need to stay calm here. This is hardly the first time I felt so clueless. Miyuki, if you know something, would you mind spelling it out for me? Okay, sure. But first, I think we'd better go somewhere else. You're right, if we stay here, someone else could right overhear us. Yeah, let's get Agumon, let's dip. I don't think we need to worry about anyone he's dropping us here. So I'll start explaining. But you have to understand, this is all guesswork on my part. I think the world we're in right now, this world, and the one we got dragged into the other world are connected. That makes sense, otherwise we couldn't travel between them. That's not what I mean. I'm saying if there's an accident in the other world, then a corresponding event will happen in this world. Hmm. That would explain those accidents we saw in the news just now. But how? Remember what happened with the cable car in the abandoned factory, Takuma? Cable car in the factory. What was it that happened to us there? Wait, I've got it. So that's what this is about. The site of the cable car accident is where Rio died, and the landslide happened at the factory where we fought Piedmont. So you're saying the two worlds influence each other, as if they were overlapping. 
To be precise, I think that might happen in that world have an influence on this one. And there's something else those places had in common too, which could be more proof. They had something else in common? What else links those places besides location? A shared feature of both worlds? I mean, the fog. Exactly. In both of those places, we had to deal with the fog. Whenever something happened, the fog would roll in and cover the whole area. So in other words, bad things happen where the fog shows up in the other world. And then that has some sort of effect on this world too. I think so. That's terrible. The fog showed up here at this school in the other world. The others might all still be there. What if something happens to them? We're the only ones who know about this, Takuma. Which means we're also the only ones who could do something about it. So you're saying, no, come on, you can't be serious. But I am. We're the only ones who can save them, Takuma. It's down to us. We have to go back to that other world and save them. But what can we do? We don't even know how to go back. Oh, but we do. You saw how my song was able to join the two worlds, right? It's an ability. Passed down in the Manasseh family for generations. I can join the worlds again. Passed down in the Manasseh family? Wasn't that the family the old woman said lost a daughter in the mass disappearance? Yes, that was me. I thought so, but does that mean you and Haru crossed in that world 50 years ago? Apparently. So those two spent 50 years all alone in that world. That's crazy. Man, my head's starting to spin again. I need to stay focused on the big picture. Anyway, you've inherited this strange power that could take us back there. But let's say we did manage to return to that other world. What do we do about the fog? The master is the one who controls the fog. The one who robbed me of half my soul. The same being who consumes children in the other world. Come to think of it, Arukenimon and Piedmon did say the offerings were for the master. But why did this master steal half your soul? Fifty years ago, when I was drawn into that world, there were many other children that were taken as well. So at first, I thought I was like them, brought over by chance. But I wasn't. What the master is really after is the blood of the maiden. In other words, he's after you. Right. The master covets the holy power I inherited as a member of the Manasse family. And he wants to use that power to satisfy a grudge that goes back hundreds of years. This is all about some ancient grudge. This is insane. Takuma, I want you to help me. I want to bring an end to the master's hate. Not just for me, but for my brother, for Haru. We need to stop the master. How are we supposed to stop him? I don't know, but we can't just stay here and do nothing. More than anything, I don't want to leave Haru all alone. Miyuki. Besides, if that other world falls apart, I doubt this one will fare much better. You're right. I know you're right, but what are we supposed to do? Whatever's happening, it's big. Big enough that it could mean the end of both worlds. To be honest, I'm scared. I can't imagine what I might be able to do to stop it. But Miyuki wants to go back. She wants to save her brother. And it's not like I want to just abandon the others. I want to save them too. But I don't see how I can. I don't have that kind of strength. I'm just a kid. I don't have superpowers. How am I supposed to save the world? But can I really turn my back on Miyuki? What am I supposed to do? I'm powerless. I'm scared. I can't leave them. You know, Miyuki, I don't want to abandon the others either. I want to save them. So does that mean you'll help? Here's the thing. I don't see how anything I can do possibly could make a difference. I'm just an ordinary kid. I didn't inherit any special powers like you. Sure, I fought with all I had in the other world, but really, when you get down to it, you've got Agumon, don't you? Haven't the two of you always found some way to rise to the challenge? Miyuki is right. Every challenge I face so far, I've been able to overcome with Agumon at my side. Why should this be any different? It shouldn't be, really. I know it shouldn't, but... I don't know. I feel like somehow coming back to this world turned me into a coward. Takuma, please... Let's do it. Let's go, though. I just don't know what I should do. What? It is you. You're okay. Oh, teacher. Didn't you check in with someone? Do you know how hard we've been looking for you? Maybe you haven't heard, but some students have gone missing. It's terrible. Ah, uh, sorry. You were in the group with Minoru, weren't you? What happened to the others? That's a question that needs answering. And they probably didn't make it back. Not that I had much hope they did anyway. And who is this girl? Oh, I'm, um... Oh, no. Actually, I got separated from the others. I went completely lost, so I had this girl show me the way back. Isn't that right? Oh yes, that's exactly what happened. I lived nearby, so I knew the way. Well, even if it's just you, Takuma, I'm glad you made it back safe. I hope the others are okay too. The teachers must all be convinced that the others got caught in the landslide. Takuma, I want you to wait here in the school for a little while, okay? You too, miss. It's probably best if you stick around until things settle down. I can't believe this is happening. The landslide alone would have been bad enough. You mean something else happened besides the landslide? Some talking bear monster thing apparently showed up near that old shrine. Apparently it's caused quite the scene. A monster? But how? Sure, it can't actually speak. That has to be some kind of mistake. The witnesses must have been scared out of their minds. Considering the timing of those reports, I wonder. Strange monster that can talk. That can be Agumon, could it? One side nearby. You don't think. Yuki's face is one sheet. This is bad. I don't like this at all. Could this really be who I think it is? I have a bad feeling about this. Hold on. Can't be sure of anything yet. 
For all we know, it could be Minoru and Falcomon, or any of the others. But if it were, don't you think they'd know to avoid attracting attention like we did? She's right. Besides, if we really didn't come back alone, there was only one other monster nearby. Do you really think it's him? It's gotten into you two. If you're worried about something, you know you can tell me. We need to be sure. Right. Hey, where do you think you're going? Sorry, but we really have to go. First, we need to get back to where we left Agumon. Bye! <laughs> Sorry that took so long. Hooray, you're back. I got so tired of waiting. We'll have to talk later. Right now, we need to hurry back to the shrine. What's going on? Come on, Agumon. Let's go. God, I love Miyuki. Why is Miyuki becoming my favorite character? Is that you? You made it. Huh. Miyuki, wait up! That didn't look like a costume. What was that just now? Some kind of monster, obviously. It was on a rampage. Did you hear that? Sure did. Not a good sign. We should pick up the pace. You two really don't want to go that way. It's another monster! Yeah, I get it. Tiny dinosaur and all that jazz. You okay? I so worked up I tripped over my own feet, but yeah, I'm alright. Where are you rushing off to? You don't want to go that way, it's dangerous. We have to hurry, or... I know, just a second. You look like you fell, are you alright? Don't worry, Takuma's got me, so everything's fine. It's a monster, stay back. We don't have time for this, Miyuki. Agumon, let's go. We're just like, I don't fucking care anymore. Let's do this. Bear monster? It's a clown. What is this place? Where am I? Some sort of cosplay? Stay back. This area is unstable. That that even the inner shrine is collapsed. And so many of them. What's going on? I was swallowed up by the maelstrom and then the master. Did he betray me? Who is that? What's going on? I'm not sure what you're doing, but I want you to turn around and come quietly. Did he just kill that guy? I know this feeling, Takuma. There's an enemy up ahead. Damn it, this is just what I hoped wasn't happening. Takuma, look. It's Piedmon. He's here in this world. Only something's not right. He's covered in wounds and he looks absolutely furious. Oh no, this is awful. The shrine's completely collapsed. Even the inner shrine must have been destroyed. What's that got to do with anything? But I shouldn't get distracted. Right now we need to find a way to deal with Piedmon. The place is dangerous. Stay back. Did I not serve you well? Why is this to be my fate? Piedmon. He's out of his mind. Piedmon, you're wrong. Wrong? How am I wrong? Your master, he's not what you think. Do not speak such lies. Paimon's gonna attack Miyuki. If I don't do something, Miyuki's done for. There's only one thing to do. You leave her alone. Back off before it's too late. All right. You would dare strike me? Unforgivable. You'll pay for that with your life. That's not good. He's really mad now. You'll pay for thwarting me just now. Did you just hear me out? I don't know what you hope to accomplish with your trickery, but it isn't going to work. I'm all wrong. All I want is for you to listen to me. Stay back. I need to get through to him. Does she really think she can convince Piedmon? I don't think she has much chance. I am going to drag you back and regain my master's favor. That's not how it works. That's what I've been trying to tell you. Believe me, I know. The whole time my soul was lost, I saw the world as your master did. He never cared about you to begin with. Lies and deceit, why should I believe you? You speak only in falsehoods. Not a word you say is true. I will not stand for such blasphemy against the master. It's no use. Any more of this will only make things worse. We have to stop Piedmon now. Agumon? On it, Takuma. Ready to fight whenever you say the word. I will start by slaughtering these pests, and then I will turn to you, the master, to mate. Whatever. Here, come, here he comes, Takuma. Right. I don't see any way around a fight now. I can save my second thoughts for later. We're doing this. A fight in the real world, okay. We're getting it, we're getting our mega. This is crazy. Can you believe this? You think this is for a movie or something? No way, it's gotta be real. That smaller one couldn't possibly be a fake. Let me get some pictures. Hey, you three, this place is dangerous. You shouldn't be here. Go take shelter. Okay. Oh, he brought some friends. But I have friends too, bitch.
No, no in-game explanation for why all these people, all, all of my friends are still here. Okay. I thought we were gonna get our mega. Let's go. The last thing I need right now. Let's get closer, we can take a video. Sweet, this is gonna blow up on social media for sure. Dude, you're gonna die. That was a close one, almost got hit. Watch out for that debris. Stay back, this is really dangerous, so you need to keep your distance. Yeah, this is what we do for a living now. These guys are actually pretty tough. What is my attack pattern? It's three in front of that might be what I have to do then. It's not great. But at least it oh, well, never mind then. This is kind of a toughie. What does Shadow Wing have? It has a three spot movement. Which is not this, but. Damn it! This is difficult without all my all of my heavy hitters.
I'm gonna need to heal him. Gonna do shit. Do it. Don't dodge. There we go. That was a tighter fight than I'm used to. <laughs> Ooh. Well, got everybody else up. We won? Come on, I did it! I beat Pinemon! Way to go, Agumon. Absolutely covered in wounds. He probably can't even move anymore. But is it safe to just leave him like that? Then again, I don't really want to kill him. Look at Pinemon, huh? He actually got back up, even with all those wounds. How does he still have the strength? That's some determination. How dare you! I don't like the way he's glaring at us right now, Takuma. What do we do? What can we do? This might be more than the two of us can handle. Don't worry about me. Are you, Takuma? I could keep fighting forever. Agumon. I know he means it, but we can't keep we can't go on like this. He took a lot of damage in that fight. I don't have the heart to put him up through anymore. Is this all we can manage on our own? Without the others, are we not good enough? Don't give up, you two. Miyuki? I'm going to open the door. When I do, you take care of Piedmon. Cursed maiden, what are you scheming now? I'm gonna sing! <laughs> She's like, lip sync for your life, bitch. Oh, that's a theme song. Your voice is so pretty, Miyuki. It's starting to pick up some sort of light. It's just like before. That same white light I saw when Miyuki saved us in the music room is growing again. Is this the power of the maiden? Now! Oh, I get it. If we can force Paimon inside. Can't you tell? We're sending her back to your world. Are you alright? I'm fine. Good. Well, that solves our immediate problem, but the doorway of light is still there. I know what that means, but I find myself unable to say anything. I've made up my mind. We're go She's going back, and we're going too, if I have any say in it. To do what? Do you remember what I said when I saw the shrine had collapsed? About the inner shrine being destroyed? The shrine is very important to the Master. Its presence has helped keep some of his power in check up until now. But if it's been destroyed, it won't be long before that entire island is covered in fog. But that would mean... All our friends are going to get swallowed up by that scary fog? We're running out of time, both in this world and the other one. If we don't do something, whatever happens is sure to have a huge effect on this world. So what am I supposed to do? I need you to help me. I want to protect this world. I want to save everyone. This world needs to be protected, so do so do our friends. More than anything, and so do I. After all, I'm sure the Master wants to take me back. Yuki, I... Takuma? What should I do? No, what do I want to do? Part of me wants to save the world like Miyuki says, but I know how hard that's going to be. Then again, if I don't do anything, I'll be turning my back on all my friends. They've done so much for me, I'd hate to have just abandoned them. But am I really up to taking on something that could be the end of the world? Besides, I never asked to go to that other world. I got dragged in without a chance, a choice. Now that I'm finally free of that awful death trap, I'm supposed to go back? For all I know, that could cost me my life. I don't know if I'm prepared for that. Oh, come on. That's right. If I gave up now, I'd also be giving up on Agumon. And that's definitely not something I want to do. He... He means so much to me. Okay! Be true to my friends. Never go back. Save the world. I... want to help save the world, too. To be honest, I don't know if I'm up to it. Part of me doesn't want to deal with it. But after all I've been through, I can't just pretend like it's not my problem. I'm not about to leave things like this. 
I knew you'd say that, Takuma. Does that mean you'll go fight the master with us? You better believe it. Now let's go back and fight with all of our friends at our side. As long as we stick together, we've got nothing to fear. So I'm going to help you, Miyuki. I'm glad to hear it. Thanks, Takuma. Together, I just know we'll find a way to protect both worlds. Yay! Mmm, yeah. We're good people. Ooh! So what's our next step? That's easy. We jump into the white light and go back to the other world. Isn't that right, Miyuki? That's right. We should all hold hands so we don't get separated. What? What a time to get a phone call. It's from my mom. It's funny. The whole time we've been back, I completely forgot I have my cell phone. This isn't the best time for a call, though. Yikes, it's still ringing. Sorry, give me a minute. No need to panic, Takuma. Hello, Mom? Takuma, it's me. I just wanted to check when you're coming back. Was it tomorrow or the day after? Remember how I thought she was so annoying when I was ready to get going. Now it feels like it's been ages since we talked. It's so good to hear her voice. I don't know what I did with that schedule, and I was wondering about you forgetting stuff. It's... it's tomorrow. I'll be home tomorrow. I promise. But you shouldn't call me just to check on that. You're... you're so hopeless, Mom. Are you crying? Is something wrong? Of course not. Why would I be crying? You can tell me. It's okay to cry if you're feeling lonely. Really, sometimes I think you'll never grow up. Tell you what, tomorrow night we'll have curry for dinner. I know it's your favorite. Curry? That's right. Now cheer up. It's just one more day, so give it all you got. All right, I will. I'll come back tomorrow no matter what. I promise. It's weird, but somehow it feels like my mom really is cheering me on. She sure is something else. My friends mean a lot, but I need to protect her and everyone else in this world, too. So that's what I'm going to do. Me and Agumon together. And Miyuki. Sorry, Miyuki. I've got to take something back that I said. What? I said I'd help you before, but that wasn't quite right. Because I'm in this, too. We're going to save these worlds together. Let's do it. Yeah, and don't forget me. We're all in this together. All in this I'm done, I'm done. I don't know how to thank you. Alright, now let's go. Back to that other world where our friends are waiting for us. Holding hands, we all leapt together into the shining doorway of light. Saving the world isn't going to be easy. My legs felt weak just thinking about it. But with Agumon's hand in mine, firmly drawing me forward, took the first step. God, I would watch the fuck out of this if this was an anime. She has returned, I can feel it. The maiden steps once more into this world. This time she will become my vessel. No. Bitch. I know that she's the Manase maiden, but doesn't the blood also flow through Haru or the professor's veins? Just saying. Could be a decent substitute, uh... This place sure is in the boonies. Not a single convenience store to be found. Can't believe we gotta live in a place like this. Oh. The city was so hectic, wasn't it? A place like this is better for you, Miyu. Weirdos won't bother you here, right? It's way safer. Still got a stalker, you know. What do you mean? Is someone else obsessed with you? Yeah, you, Kaido. Say what? Wait. She had a stalker? Your tongue's as sharp as ever, Miyu. Don't worry. No matter what happens, I'll protect you, sis. Oh. Um, are they about to die? He really doesn't get it. I didn't do anything wrong. I didn't even do anything to lead him on or whatever. That stalker jerk's the worst. He says we're dating even after getting arrested. Dating? Talk about delusional. And yet, it seems like my parents kind of believed him. They looked at me like I did something wrong, and even Kaido is clingier than usual. My parents, my brother, in the end, no one believed in my fam. No one in my family believed me. This isn't just some jaunt to the countryside. This is exile. She had a stalker. I hate it. I hate everyone. I can't take it anymore. I wish someone would set me free. That's so sad. Wake up, Takuma. <clears throat> Takuma, wake up. Agumon, this is... It's my world. We made it back. I see. So we did it. What about Miyuki? I haven't seen her. I mean, just look around. Oh, fuck. We lost Miyuki again? 
I'm gonna blow my nose. Well, now I'm nervous. Okay. With the, fog th with the fog this thick, we can't see a thing. I don't think it was this thick before. We have to get out of here, Takuma. It's getting thicker by the second. You're right. Mm, gotta find Miyuki. There's something in the grass, something there, that sound. Sorry, Agumon. I know we just got back, but no worries. I'll fight whatever comes at us. Can't let her guard down here. One wrong move can spell the end in this world. It's getting closer and closer. Here it comes. Yeah. That voice. Sounds like someone's there. Must be my imagination. Minoru! Takuma? You're alive? I thought we'd never see you again. You're hugging me too tightly. Tough cookies. This is what an emotional reunion looks like, man. What is it, Minoru? Did I hear you call out Takuma's name just now? Oh, it's you, Falcomon. Falcomon? And you as well, Takuma. So you survived after all. We did. This is great. Really, you have no idea. I thought for sure that... All right, all right, I get it. Where's everyone else? They're all safe, don't worry. Aoi, Kaido, Miyu, Saki, the professor. Labramon and Drakmon as well, of course. What about Miyuki? Oh, um, you haven't run into her? No, haven't seen her at all. Let me see. I'll save the explanation for later. For now, let's go meet up with everyone. Everyone's gonna flip when they see you're still alive and kicking. Let's go. We're not gonna search for Miyuki? They're back. Yay, Renamon! Are you gonna join my freaking team? I know you're Miyuki's partner. Like, I have deduced that. Is that really you, Takuma? We're oh, safe. Honestly, I thought you were cut. Idio, guys. What do you mean, Idio? We were worried sick about you. It's great to know the two of you are safe. Looks like I caused you guys some grief. Looks like, he says. Where the heck have you been hiding this whole time? And where were you? Where, where? Here we were, wringing our hands over here. Now, now, the important thing is that he's safe and sound, right? That won't do. Right, Takuma. What happened to you after you got separated from us in the factory? Tell us all about the past ten days. Did you say ten days? That's what I said. Is something wrong? Ten days? We were only gone for a few hours, though. Is time move that quickly here? Please tell us in as much detail as possible. Give him a break, Aoi. But any detail may be the difference between life and death for us, you know. Aoi? What's this insistence? Aoi, have you changed somehow? I understand your confusion, Takuma. Many things have happened in your absence. Aoi has become a de facto leader, as it were. She's more like a mother hen than a leader, if you ask me. Better than Kaido's usually coddle, usual coddling. I feel less hen-pecked with the mother hen. Quiet, you two. We're having a serious conversation right now. Please, Takuma, your answer? Sure, I'll talk. The truth is... So I'm gonna fill them in. You went back to our world? Yeah, but I was only there for a few hours. That's why I was surprised to hear over a week had passed over here. Time flows differently in this world than the other one, like the tale of Urush Urushima Taro. Wow, so that's how it is. I don't know much about time flowing differently here and there. But if ten days over here was only a few hours back in our world, that means time flows slower here, right? Oh, I think I get it. Maybe that means, as long as I stay here, Saki... She's dying! Saki's dying. I'm cool, Florimon. Don't sweat it. Yeah, I hear you. I'm happy to see everyone got back safely. Although, to call us safe now is a bit of a stretch. Things are that bad? The fog is getting thicker by the day, almost as if it's hunting us down. One thing's for sure. It's only a matter of time before it consumes the school. Hey, one thing's bothering me. If you were able to get back to our world, why'd you come back here? We saw, pa we saw Piedmon going on a rampage through the other world. What? That jerk is screwing around with you guys' world too now? So the situation is long, long, long. So the situation is no longer limited to this world, is it? Yeah, at this rate, our world's going to be in danger too. This fog-covered world is corrupting the world we came from. That's why I came back. I don't know if I can save everyone, much less the whole world, but I couldn't just sit by and act like nothing's happened. That's Takuma for you, my man. Takuma, what a guy! So you just came back here on your own? Kaido. Not quite. Took a lot to get back here and... I got separated from Miyuki. She holds the key to it all. Miyuki? Miyuki holds the key? What do you mean? 
He is already done for, I think. I wouldn't count on her if I were you. Don't say that. We're friends. We have to hear the details. Quiet, Miyu. I'm saying this for your sake. All right, enough of that. Takuma, please tell us what you mean about Miyuki and the key she holds. How can I explain this? Maybe I should talk about how the worlds are connected first, then about Miyuki's song. Wait, I can't explain her power if I don't talk about the Manase family first. Is that too confusing, though? Maybe talking about Piedmon and the gate would be easier. Sure. A song that Miyuki knows is needed to return to our world. I don't know how she does it, but it seems like her song connects the two worlds. Next, the world. It seems that this world and our own affect each other somehow. The shrine caused a landslide in our world. Then, there was that cable car accident. Miyuki said that the worlds exist side by side, so you can open gates between them. Interesting. All the more reason for us to get Miyuki back, then. You think you can do it? If we have to, we have to. Why don't you get it? I don't want to put you in danger. Don't you want to go home, Kaido? Because I do, with you and everyone. I get it, but that's why I... I'm sorry, Takuma. We're at the end of our rope here. Still, I'm happy you came back for us. We've been very... discouraged lately. I had no idea time flowed like that here. Anyway, I'm sorry I kept you waiting. No need to apologize. Let's rest for a bit and then return to the question of Miyuki. Why don't you get it, Miyu? You're the one who doesn't get it, Kaido. Come on, Kaido. Chill out already. Miyu, calm down a bit, okay? Right. You two, that's enough. Why don't we take a break, everyone? Takuma's just got back after all. I'll put together an extra fancy lunch today, okay? Yeah, uh, right. Okay. Ooh. Oh, hey, I'll lend you a hand. Me too, I'll help out. Well, if Saki's up for it, then so am I. Thanks, guys. That's a big help. Well, then, you all behave yourselves until we're done, okay? Something wrong with the professor? Yeah, it's Professor Haru. Akiharu, I think this is real. Is his full, like government name so what should we do we're not gonna wait around for Aoi to finish cooking sure but we should talk to him before that you mean the professor you figured that out fast the whole time you were talking to Aoi he stared at you looking all twitchy and stuff so you noticed that too huh yeah just like when Labramon's looking for attention but Aoi's too busy not sure that's the same thing well either way I have a couple of things to ask the professor about, too. We should find a place to talk to him. Free action. So how many actions do we get? We get five actions. So. We're going to talk with Madu Aoyan. Her. Minoru. That's, so that's two actions. And then I'll go ahead and talk to, I'll talk to Agumon probably, but then the actions are probably going to change. Oh, whatever. Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, if you enjoyed today's video, please subscribe, like, and or comment. Also feel free to check out my TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram, which are all in the description below. Beneath that, you will find a link invite to the Discord channel. So feel free to hop on in and join the 282. <coughs> Okay. Thanks again, though, for watching, everybody, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye! I'm so happy we're back in the digital world, which is wild, because, you know, everything's trying to kill us all the time, but... And probably gonna kill people. Get people killed, so... Yay.